Yeah. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this one. Exactly. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey. Today. For two years I've been climbing up three floors. I think it's time for a, for a lift. Yeah. The entire studio. Toilet, I clean the kitchen, I arrange, I mop, I sweep, I vacuum. No bad. Uh. Can be a house husband. Anybody want to apply can uh, fill up the application form. <laughs> this vlog is gonna go a million times hot surface, no touching. Thanks for the present. <laughs> wow, bright what? So this one can call Batman once. Uh. So we've got a clean studio ready for the week. Let me know what you think of the new light that I'm using. This week's vlog is all about how this space has transformed the colossal business for us. I used to tell my parents, uh, Hello, Mr. Omar Ali. Oh, my son. Uh, very hardworking. You know what dream? That's my son. That one day, I'll be able to make enough to actually rent out a space. So at that point of time, I was just working from my bedroom. Just editing photos, answering emails from there. That was basically Colossal HQ. A day after viewing this space, I went to my supervisor in school and I told her that I wanted to drop out from my master's program. To the disappointment of quite a lot of people, I had to choose between going all in for my master's program or all in for the business. And it was a no-brainer for me. I chose business, but I promised myself that I was going to make it work. And I made it work. <laughs> come, come. So one of the best things that I get to do in this space is I get to meet couples who are collecting their final albums and photos from us. It's one of the most rewarding aspects of wedding photography, seeing your couples come back after they're married, having them flip through their photo album. It's amazing when you can build relationships with couples and then to end it off nicely in the studio over drinks. I, I truly cherish that part of the whole wedding photography process. It's one of my favorite parts of it. Yo, Ricky, how are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? I don't see. I'm good. You? Good. Yeah. Oh, but that one was a was a really really good shot. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh, colors very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'll see you. It was a pleasure. It was fun. <laughs> we had fun as well. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so all your photos are in here. Oh dear, yeah, I remember so that picture. Yes. Okay, so we, we, we wrote some stuff at the back. It's from your photographers. Uh, but you guys can oh, read that when you guys okay, get home. Really nice. Okay, Excellent, man. Thanks, guys. Picture are really nice. Oh, yeah. Really really nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. Nasty was this You can see, yeah. Thank you, guys. Hey. No more. Damn. Shit. I still remember this thing. 
Oh nice eh? So I can we can like frame up. Yeah, I went like we can do it now. Yeah. <laughs> How are the photos for you guys? Mm. Amazing, so nice. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this man. Vlogging me, vlogging him. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's vlogging me. Vlogging him. <laughs> How are you my friend? How's it going man? Good bro. Hey, we got something for you. Oh, that's so nice. That's right. He goes there, man. You're nicely done, la. The ordering or the pictures also. Yeah. Important lessons Mark Richmond taught me was uh, he said people like us. I guess we come and say we don't have the best voices. Yeah. Our voices are very nasal kind of thing. You know, not like those deep low voice kind of thing. Bad. And if you were to try and do that, it would eliminate our identity per se. So he said uh, to use this person as an example, Casey Kasem. He was a radio DJ and he doesn't have the best voice but it's his personality that shines through. So the, the end goal is to get everybody uh, on board with the culture that we have here. Right. Because the photography culture in Singapore is a bit off. And you see, and that was barely a month ago. Yeah. You know, and, you, and you look at, at where you are now and this is just within a month. So if you keep doing it, can you do it together? Alright. Ready? One, two, three, go. So the original intention for this space was for it to be a photo studio. I've always wanted to practice my studio lighting, have a space for me to do corporate headshots, you know. Uh, we found it difficult to have proper studio shoots in this space because everyone's either working on the computer or meetings or editing and stuff like that. This week, uh, Jared had a photo shoot. We realized that, you know, there's a lot of potential that we can do here. It's just that we haven't been taking advantage of it. So maybe we'll do more studio shoots and, you know, have some tutorials for the vlog in the future. Today, we have a shoot going on. Jared's conducting the shoot. I think a catalog for a blog shop. Okay, nice. Okay, now. Yeah. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled. Hey. Yeah. Now the big boss. Hi, big shot. He's gonna take his DJ portrait. Good form. Can go lower a bit. Unku is here. Oh my God. How are you, man? <laughs> <laughs> a rugby player shot? Wow! Wow! The stomach must push in. Hey, Jared, that's an actual DJ using your video control. <laughs> Last but not least, we also use this space as the headquarters for Colossal. We do everything here. From silk screening our bags and t-shirts to testing out new equipment, just hanging out and having fun. It's truly become something really special for us. Hello my friends! It's special stuff, yeah? <laughs> for the colossal wedding team, yeah? Actually it's for my fans. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm black man. Please, so people ask for colossal merch, we give colossal merch lah. <laughs> Why are you naked in my studio? <laughs> I just bought. I asked myself that also. Why I must do half naked? So we usually see screen our own shirts, our own bags and our own merch. We've been doing this for a while. Saves me quite a ton of money. I don't have to pay these guys to print my stuff for me. I, I have a bad feeling about this one. Exactly. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Da, da, dang, dang, dang. Oh, that ah. works. Oh, see, okay, wow. See. But very light. It is. No one cares. Just put on your shirt. Okay, I know I take out your shirt now. It's time to do this. Hey, which one? Me and my another. What the? Bukan dengan itu. Wah, you. And you just silk screen all over it. You gave this to us. Not to silk screen on it, right? Yeah. Okay. We need more. Fight. Don't, don't want, do one, one time, two time on it. It's a lot though. Fight. You can like it. You can't it after half a My friends, I need help. Anybody who wants to help us silk screen, these guys over here, they're giving me high blood pressure. But I did like one whole semester of silk screen. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 
So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching this week's vlog. I hope you like it. Please comment, subscribe. I haven't gotten the new softbox. It will come in probably this week. I'll try that for the next vlog. Let me know what you think of this new setup and this new format that I'm trying out on the vlog. I'm trying to make it more cinematic. Trying to pump up the production quality just slightly higher. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.